Good morning, everyone. We're back here on the farm. It's irrigation day, so we got to get ready for water. The first thing we have to do is put some checks in. There's a little bit of water leaking past the, the guy upstream who's watering right now. Ours starts in about half an hour, so I'm going to go down here and put some checks in and get our ports open, get them ready to go. So this is called a check, and I'm going to put one in right here so we get more water to this port. And it's not going to do anything until later on, but the bottom one here should get us some water. So this is the one we have to get right. If the water gets past this check, it leaves our part of the ditch and we can't get it. So this is not a great system, but we have to use sandbags to create a seal here. So this is basically free water right now, but pretty soon the water will start in earnest. And so I'm just getting this ready so that when the main flow comes, we'll, we'll be ready and it'll flow into the ports. So this check is sort of working, it's not great. I'll come up with a better system eventually and show that to you. These sandbags are supposed to hold the check down and create a seal. And then we open this port now the water will flow out into the pasture, onto our farm. We have three ports on our property here. And this top one was full of dirt and completely plugged up. So last night I dug it out. So I'm using the water to kind of clear that area. And then I'll have to put some rocks and concrete in there to keep it from washing things out. But right now I've got the water clearing that the rest of that dirt out of the port for me so we should be good to go there so I have this check in here temporarily and once the water starts you can see it upstream there hey mini farmer what are we doing Yeah. Yeah, water for the pasture. The neighbors just lifted their check and here comes the water. Now we can't get in the water anymore. It's too fast. We only played in it when it was slow. This is much nicer, this time with Mark helping. Last time it was quite an adventure with Sophie and the dog in the trunk and me trying to do this with an 80 year old neighbor. That was an adventure. Water! So our time is up for the water and we've had the water on for three and a half hours now so this is about right this is about what we're looking for maybe a little bit more we've got some high spots i gotta do some grading but uh that's what flood irrigation looks like so now i gotta turn the water off in the back and let it flow down to the neighbor so to wrap things up today i thought i'd show you this vanity i had just painted this thing and we were gonna kind of refurbish it a little bit and put it back in the master bath and then it fell on its face in the dirt here and now it looks like that so we decided to scrap that and i'll show you the the one that we put in here 
I sh showed you part of it, but it's in the bathroom now, and the lighting is better. Here in the bedroom, we've got all the um, electrical done, put up a new fan, all the trim is painted, so the bedroom here is pretty much ready to go. We're moving some boxes in. The bathroom here still needs trim, but we got this vanity installed today. I'll show you how it looks. So it's a, kind of a repurposed piece of furniture with a bowl on top. And we refinished the top because it was uh, didn't look too good. So we still need to get a mirror, but pretty excited about this. So that replaces the one that's outside. So till next week, Saving Miller out.